hello, 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 and welcome to Bezel's Game Show, a whole half out of gargantuan games. That's it, come on, bang, 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 Wait, bang. Great gags. <laughs> That's pathetic. Don't worry, Doctor, I'll handle this. And lots of guns. Oh! oh! What nothing? <laughs> 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 So it's time for the first of today's three games, Dunk Bets. Yes, the game where push comes to shove. <laughs> Let's meet the teams. Boom, boom! I only see a zebra when I'm crossing the road. I'm stomping all over them and then I'm told. Tigers are useless and far too small. Tigers only eat, sleep, bite and crawl. I'd rather be a buzzy, we can sting when we like. And besides, we've got like the best coloured stripes. We're the tiger, sharp teeth and sharp claws. We'll beat us so hard, you'll be down on all fours. We're the zebras, black and white, and we're definitely going to win this fight. So it's knockout format. Three teams start, but only one team will have the chance to walk away with all these prizes. <laughs> the wheelie bin pencil sharpeners. Puzzle balls. Magic kits. Clip-on watches. And games consoles with games. <laughs> Well, the bee's dancing over there, but these two don't look as confident. Rosie, how are you feeling? Mm, a bit nervous. Have you got a game plan in mind? Anything you want to achieve in this? More than zero and less than a thousand. It's a good, it's a good tactic, yes, definitely, uh, in the scoring zone. George, it's all down to you, mate. Give us a bit of a flex on those muscles. We've got to use those pretty wisely in this game. Don't push too hard or you will end up in the drink, Rosie. OK, Basil, we're set to go. OK, bees, go on the pier the push. Three, two, one, push! That was a very controlled push there from George. I think he's a little nervous about pushing this too hard, which means he hasn't pushed it hard enough. But definitely in the minus zone. I don't even think we're going to reach zero on this, although we might just tip into it. Oh, it takes skill. Oh, dear, the bees might have been stung by that one. It's zero points for the bees. Tigers may be dancing, but the claws are out because they have a score to beat. Quincy, talk to me. How are you feeling about this? Yeah, I'm feeling quite confident. Uh, we're trying to get between zero and 50. An accurate score, if you can get it, it involves a very uh, tried and also measured push there, James. So, are you feeling confident about this? Yeah, definitely. Beautiful. It's all yours. Basil? They're under starters all this. Three, two, one, push! That was a much stronger push there from James. Ooh, it still feels like it's in the minus zone, though, you know? Ooh. doesn't feel that strong. Come on. Just in a hundred points there. Let's go to Frosty though and confirm it. Well, the Tigers clawed their way to a good score there with 100 points. Hey, go on, Frosty. Hey. Whenever just, you're ready, sir. Just add it. That's it. Add the one to it. Well done, Frosty. He can count. <laughs> Bless him. Boom, boom. The zebra there dancing away. A very intellectual animal. We all know this. The only reason they're black and white is because the license is cheaper. But nothing cheap here when it comes to the bed, eh? We're talking about the girls, Gabrielle and Natasha. Natasha, you're on the bed, you're aiming towards the drink. How are you feeling? I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, well, your, uh, your other half over here is hopefully going to push you not too hard. Gabrielle, <laughs> you ready for this? Yeah. OK, Basil, we're ready. I can't wait either. Three, two, one, push! Go on. That is a strong push from Gabrielle. Definitely a strong push. Uh, we're well out of the minus, so I'm convinced of it. This is going to be a really good score. A really good score. 75. Ever. That is definitely a thousand. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> ah, what a shame. You've wet your bed. It's, it's OK, it's OK, it's OK. Your score still stands. It's obviously a bit of shock because the water is that cold. <laughs> <laughs> so the thousand points are secure, but Natasha's hanging around literally. 
but not for long. He does a shuffle and a tip and slides down below sea level. Splash down. Nice one, Natasha. Then she looked pleased. A uh, great push for the zebras there. I think they're going to be all right with black and white stripes, of course, with their thousand points! Yay! Brilliant! Yay! OK, so just to check the scores at the halfway point, in third place are the bees with zero points, in second place the tigers with 100 points, but in first place a magnificent world record score of 1,000 points, it's the zebras! <laughs> OK, Zebras, it's round two for you. Gabrielle, you're on the bed this time. How are you feeling about it? Really nervous. <laughs> well, of course, Natasha went in the drink, but actually you scored 1,000 points. It was only because it was a millimetre over that you actually fell in there, Natasha. <laughs> now, I have to point out to you here at this point that you only need to score 10 points to go through to the next round. But to play it totally safe, all you need is zero, really, OK? So you can either go for zero on the scoring part or you can push your sister into the drink and you'll still get zero. So it's up to you, Natasha, whatever <laughs> you do. Obviously, you know, you girls love each other. Yeah, right, what's this? <laughs> uh, Basil? I think the drink. Three, two, one, push! Go! That was a heavy... Oh, oh, my yes, goodness! It is, it is, it is. See you later! Oh, no! Beautiful! Oh, right here. <laughs> nah, that's what we like to see. Gabriel is a g g g g g g goner! <laughs> oh, what a stink in the drink. She wet her bed. Milk. <laughs> Combine that with the first round score, it's a final score of a thousand points for the Zebras! <laughs> boom, boom! We need an extraordinary push now. Did you see, we'd see that with the tight? I'm very sorry. OK, James, it's the second run for you. How are you feeling? I feel confident. OK, well, the Bs are 100 points behind you. That's not a massive gap. You now need to get a really positive score, OK? Anywhere in between 100 and 500 should see you safe into the next round. It depends how far you want to push him, though, Quincy. If you want to go for that 1,000, of course you can do. Yep. But if you go too far, James is in the drink, and so are your chances. <laughs> All right? Basil, we're ready. Get those Go Faster stripes working. Three, two, one, push! Oh, that was very solid. Oh, So, James, um, how do you think you did? Uh, not bad. Good. The old duck and the dive from a tiger. Tried and tested surfing techniques, brought to duck bits. <laughs> oh! Gnarly dude, get in. <laughs> well, in the drink, you get zero points for the second round, and obviously in the first round, they scored 100 points with a final score now for the Tigers of 100 points! <laughs> So the Tigers and the Zebras look on actually to find out how the Bees are going to do in their final round of dunk beds. But the Zebras, actually, you're not so bad because you're through to the next round, definitely. So well done to you two. Yeah. Tigers, it could all change for you at this point because the Bees have got to score 100 points or more. OK, now, if you score 100 points, you draw with the Tigers, it's then what's known as a dunk off. Ooh. I know, exactly. They're very excited about it, you can tell. <laughs> George, talk to me. I don't know, I'm just really nervous and I'm just leaving it on air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Good move. Rosie, 100 points will draw you with the Tigers. You don't want that, really. You want to make sure that you're secure in this game, don't you? So more than 100, is that what we're going for? Yeah. Good luck, Rosie. Basil, it's all yours. Right, there's a lot riding on this final push. Three, two, one, push! That was a very controlled push. But I don't Come think on it's now. strong Come enough. On. It certainly looked like it was aiming in the right direction. Come on. We Come might on. now be in Come minus on. 50. We might make minus 25. Oh, 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 we're still moving, we're still moving. We might even just creep into oh. minus 10. Go to Frosty and make it official. I will just confirm the scores there with Frosty. It's minus 10 for the Bees in their second round. Combine that with the zero they scored in the first round. It means the Bees have a total score of minus 10 points. So, at the end of Duck Meds, that means the Tigers and the Zebras have gone through to the next round. Well done, guys. But sadly, that means we've got to say goodbye to the Bees, everyone. Oh. Rosie, Rosie, what happened? What happened? Talk to me. <laughs> just maybe not a strong enough push? Uh, and what did you say to Rosie when he came down, George? What were the words you used? <laughs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? Well, listen, you're not going away empty-handed. That's the cool thing. Look, you're getting your wheelie bin pencil sharpener. Can I get a whip move from you two? <laughs> whip move. Well. Okay, there you go, that's yours. That's yours. Yep. Use them with pride. And, of course, you get your GRH, your gorilla ride home. See you later. <laughs> Look.
welcome to Bezu's Graveyard of Terror. <laughs> Without further ado, I shall begin. Over the hill, and through the valley, across the town, and down the alley. Not tomorrow, not in two weeks. Be scared right now, as the skeleton shrieks! <laughs> See you next time in Bezel's Graveyard of Terror. <laughs> Is that the best you can do, you plank? Skeleton's meant to shriek, not you. <laughs> Graveyard of Terror. In recent times, a bunch of losers have appeared who reckon they have special powers. They are completely wrong about this, which is a shame, as a supervillain called the Mysterious Bad Guy has come along and stolen Swindon, and there's no one else who can stop him. The stupidity continues. Oh, thanks for that, T-Boy. Yeah, be quicker next time, maybe. And that work experience, girl, is all you need to know to become a successful superhero like me. Yay! Now, Junius, have I told you about the time I tackled Captain Inferno with nothing but a spoon and a second-hand kettle? Yes. Yes, you have. Twice. Well, and one more won't hurt. OK, so uh, Captain uh, Inferno way, runs up towards me, right? And as he does, way, I take the spoon. And that's it. That's it. Now, if I oh. can tell you that the sink leaks, the window won't shut properly, there's a damp pet on the wall in the living room, and if we put the heating on, the boiler makes a sound like a giant robot farting. Oh. <laughs> but other than that, the flat's fine, yeah? Yes, absolutely, yes. Now, oh, everybody, allow me to introduce you. Um, this is the caretaker. Oh, wow, the oh. caretaker. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Guys. How you doing, High man? five. Yep. Uh, oh, oh, low five. Low, oh, to the high. side. Too slow. Uh, <laughs> too slow. <laughs> you know, that's a cool superhero name. Yeah, what well, a cool name. You're like the dude who caretakes things. Hey, I'm the caretaker. I take care of things in a caretaker kind of way. Hey, I'm a dude with a cool name. I like it. It's, it's a nice image and everything as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, dummies, dummies, dummies. Listen, he's not a superhero called the caretaker. He actually is a caretaker. Oh. And he's here to do all the rubbish jobs that you two half-wits can't manage. Oh, 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 oh sorry about that. Mm. Easy mistake to make. Well, listen, you carry on, don't let us stop you, and yep. we'll talk about evil crime fighting. Mm. Cup of tea, anybody? Yeah. Forager, we haven't got time for tea. We need to work out how to catch the mysterious bad guy uh -huh. and return Swindon to Swindon. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, um, right. Q Forager. <laughs> no, no, this, this is me thinking, acting. I know the line. Um, um, Thought my pause would be. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, OK. Um, wait, I have an idea. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Thank you. Trying to veal on here till Thursday. Um, I don't know what the idea is, though. I'll have another sip and I'll think about it. That's it. Why don't we put an ad in the newspaper? Right, what we'll do, we'll put it in there and it'll say, Wanted. Large Wiltshire town, open brackets, preferably Swindon, close brackets. <laughs> We're going to be offering you lots of money and then just see who gets in touch. Now, that's a winning idea, mm. if you've ever heard one. Hang on, I've got a better idea. Mm. Why don't we find a town of a similar size somewhere like Bracknell? So similar mm. in size. Then <laughs> lay and wait to catch him red handed as he tries to steal it. Look at this! Huh? Oh, listen, yeah? guys, listen, listen, Todd, sorry, I don't want to sound harsh, but those plans are absolutely, mm. utterly, Stop. utterly right. Ra there. <gasps> no, Taker. My evil plans have been foiled. Hey. I don't understand. He's just a caretaker, guys. No, he's not. He's the mystery bad guy's top henchman. <gasps> Look. <laughs> <laughs> OK, all right. I do work for the mysterious bad guy. And I just love being evil. <laughs> And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Yay! Well done. Listen, Can why can't you two be more like the T-boy in the I work mean, experience? Go, very good, well, well, well done, no, excellent. No. <laughs> well, think, no, think, I, well, basically, I knew. Yeah. I knew he was the bad guy. <laughs> what, I was, what I was doing was, because it's important 
for kids for the kids these days to learn young. how to be superheroes like what we is, and that's why I didn't. That's say true. Like that. yeah, like we yeah. didn't even know. Understand. Come on, yeah. mysterious bad guy. I could have got one over Russ. He knows everything about this. Norman Super Sits like. Look at him go. Oh, how marvelous! The caretaker's secret camera means I can now see everything the super losers get up to. Of course, I could just watch it next week like everyone else. Oh, but that's not really even enough. <laughs> if you tapped in superhero on the internet, I'll exactly. be just there, you know, just chilling. He knows his stuff. Knows his stuff. Knows Next his week on Zeros, cool like that, the know. forager does his best supervillain impression. <laughs> Hi, I'm a really bad evil bad guy and I've got a really evil voice. <laughs> Red Melvin turns into a bookworm. I'm not just going to be Red Melvin, I'm going to be well Red Melvin. <laughs> and Foxman finally trumps evil. Oh, oh, that smells bad. Actually stinks. Oh, I'm chewing that. Zeros, <laughs> making their city, sorry, their settee, a safer place. <laughs> Down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. So the zebras and the tigers are through to this, the next round of games. Now, for their next game, we're in this wonderful setting of the world's famous Animal Balloon Museum. Beautiful. Take a look at these over here. These are the exhibits. And uh, this, of course, is a textbook classic in the balloon modelling world. This, of Don't course, touch is the... that, please, sir. I'm sorry. I wasn't really touching. I was just pointing and showing you. Don't even point at it. It's an expensive piece of balloon. Oh! Oh! oh. It was. Oh, yeah. Another one. <laughs> Yeah, you get, you Don't get, tell my boss. Yeah, you get on with that. OK, uh, moving on. Uh, we've got the giraffe, of course, another textbook classic. Uh, and over here, I don't really know what they are. They're sort of abstract, really. Basil, any ideas? What animal is that? Um, I don't think they're animals, Barney. Why don't you read the sign? OK. Um, it says, contestants for the game called Ooh, I Could Crush a Grape. <gasps> Bingo! So this is, ooh, I could crush a grape. And that's exactly what our contestants have to do. Yep, it's who can crush and burst all their balloon grapes the fastest by any means necessary. But they must stay within the confines of the fruit bowl arena. Yes, it's very important. But should your balloons pop off in any way, it's up to your mascots to grab them and put them back into the fruit bowl. You must not leave it. Now, to make it easier for you, if you take a look at the glove there on James's right hand, you can see there's some sandpaper on there. That makes it really easy to pop the balloons. The game is quite simple to find out who can crush their grapes in the fastest time. OK, Basil? Right, teams, no whining. Here we go. Three, two, one. Crash away! <laughs> Two more, two more in the back. Two more, two more. Well, the zebra's last balloon pops, and there it goes, with the tigers a split second behind as Quincy pops the last one behind James's back. The winners are the zebras. Well, well, girls, Gabrielle and Natasha, that means you're through to the next round, but sadly we have to say goodbye to our tigers over here. But it's okay, look, you do get, don't worry, not my left cheek, you get a wheelie bin pencil sharpener, there's one for you, and there's one for you, but that's not all, eh, Basil? No, 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 they also get their gorilla right home. Oh, yes, in you come, guys, in you come. Hey, no, 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 not the bananas, not the, come on, you can take the gorilla out of the jungle, can't you? No, no, gorilla ride right home, these two, come on, please. Thank you. Here is the bees. Honestly, see you later, guys, well played. No.
you ready. So there you go. Through to the next round. Bring it on. The serious team has taken on some of the most inhospitable environments known to man. Now they're taking on their most terrifying challenge yet. Brace yourself for serious back garden. <laughs> Can we put the toy helicopter down, please? We're trying to be serious. Basil! <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, I had baked beans for breakfast. Uh, serious windy pops. My stomach feels ropey. <laughs> You'll marvel at their ingenuity. According to the instructions, insert strut A into strut B and put the ground sheet on the ground. In... Oh, cracky. You'll be amazed by their bravery. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Well, he looks pretty vicious. I don't think he's spotted us. You'll be astounded by their sense of direction. Uh, Isn't it that way? Eh? Uh. Serious back garden. About as exciting as a cold cup of tea. Never coming to CBBC. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! Graveyard of Terror! <laughs> Welcome to Bezel's Graveyard of Terror! <laughs> Without further ado, I shall begin. Over the hill, and through the valley, across the town, and down the alley, over the sea, and down the beaches, You'll be afraid when the witchy screeches. <laughs> oh, that hurts. See you next time in Bezel's graveyard of terror. <laughs> Was that the best you could do? I thought you were going to be better than Melvin. People can't cackle today. It's a. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> Ow! Graveyard of terror. Well, this is the final game for the big prizes. This is true, and just the zebras remain. Uh, ah, but Barney. Yeah? Have you noticed that every time we do this um, gondulator game and there's a full moon in the sky, Melvin behaves a little, um... Odd? Yes. Salt my peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin's only gone and turned himself into a basketball playing werewolf with supernatural powers. <laughs> you get me? I've got the supernatural skills to pay the bills. <laughs> you see that hoop over there? Well, he's miles away. Oh, yeah, but check this, check this, check right. this. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Watch, 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 watch. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. You might want to work on them supernatural basketball skills there, dude. Yeah, but I didn't say that basketball was supernatural power, though. <laughs> Fair point, he didn't, did he? No, he didn't. No. Oh, well, it's gondolator time! <laughs> You should know the drill by now, girls. Basically, you're going to be going along the gondolator and you're going to be meeting Melvin, or the wolfman at the end, and you're going to be giving him some things that end in owl. <laughs> Call it fast-moving speech therapy. Now, there are going to be five levels. With each level, the gondolator will get faster. Yeah, there are five prizes to be won, one for each of the levels. Can anyone smell dog food? <laughs> there are also going to be five obstacles making it harder as the levels progress. Now, let's get this gondulator moving, then. Dr John, crank them up. <laughs> Level one, they're playing for the recycling favourite, the wheelie bean pencil sharpeners. OK, Natasha, take your time. The first object for Wolfman is the... Oh! <laughs> Hold on tight, the big jump over the fans. Well done, well done. Well done. 
Right, level two. The gondulator's getting much faster. People like puzzles and balls, and that's what they're playing for. The puzzle balls. Okay, you're going for the towel. Oh. Over the fangs. Watch out for the full moon. Watch out for the full moon. You've done it. That was too easy. Leaping like a gazelle. Ooh, on me, it's up. And level three, they're doing very well. The gondulator's getting so much faster now, bringing magic to the suburbs with the magic kit. That's what's up for grabs. You can do it. OK, there's the trout. Oh, yeah. Over the bags. Good job, good job, good job. Oh. Ooh, them booms, no problem from Natasha. Certainly got her teeth into that one, didn't she? Oh, they've got to level four. The gondolator's getting so much faster, but time is always on your side when you're playing for clip-on watches. Come on, Zippers! OK, you've got the big A there, or the... Come on! Come on, you can do it! Oh, no, they're getting hard here this week. There you go, jump and grab it. OK, oh, yes. a big jump, a big jump. Take a run on, Gabrielle. Well done, well done. OK, oh, yeah, she's really well done. Oh. She's done it! She's done it! Brilliant! Straight through the teeth. Level five, the gondolator is going to be at its fastest, but the top prize is up for grabs, the games consoles and the games. Come on! Come on. You're reaching up for the cow. Oh. A big jump, well done. Okay. A, a big leap, a big leap. Over the well done, through the graveyard, through the graveyard. Give it a good punch. And again, keep going, keep going. Go on, smash it. Oh, punch your way through it. Kick it. of Amir Khan, Ricky Hatton and Joe Kelzecki. Natasha Granite Hands pummels her way through the tombstone to victory. Dead good. Ah, let me see. No rest for the wicked in a graveyard. Well done, the Zebras. <laughs> so, in one of the most exciting Gundulator games ever and one of the best boxing moves I've ever seen when it comes to punching through a graveyard, we have now got two players for the Zebras with all of the prizes, including, bring them in, guys, the games console and game. Yeah! What? Well done, well done. Are we happy? Yeah. Basil, it's all smiles over here, mate. Well, they're happy over there. Are you happy with your souvenirs, Melvin? Forward slash Wolfman. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the towel, the trowel, the vow, the cow, the owl. Hey, I'm cured. <laughs> oh, I'm not cured. Oh! Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for this week. I'm pleased to say my brush is not going to clear up the mess, but I'd like to leave you with this one final message. Laughter's the best medicine, and if you're really sick, call an ambulance. <laughs> boom, boom! Boom, boom! And if you're a Basil fan, then here's a few words from the fox himself. The doors to the swap shop open again tomorrow morning on CBBC. We're swapping loads of your things, including a karaoke machine, a pink water dispenser and some stilts. Not only that, but we've got great games, dank beds, how slow can you go bike racing, and gandulita. You can get in touch by logging onto the website or by phoning in. We'll see you tomorrow morning for Bezel Swap Shop, live on CBBC on BBC Two at 9am. See you then. Eh? Hmm? What am I going to feel that hoodie, buddy? No, I'm not getting you a hoodie. Oh, or I'm going to get you another flim. You want those stilts? D. Right, what are you going to do with those stilts? Prima sola ora, but that's a ila gola dolo. Don't be silly, no. I think we should go for the karaoke machine, actually. You swap something for that. Uh, eh, dolo, sa omra fine bala ida da. I think I'm quite a good singer, thank you very much. No. Oh. Oh. Anyway, what are we doing here? Oh, that fine omra saka ida di. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sí. Turn over to the CBC channel to watch us. See. Sí. There we go, job done. Da. Eh, pi la mala la fim. No, no, no. Pi la mala la fim. Pi la mala I am seriously hungry, and I seriously hope someone brings me a pizza! Anyway, tonight's match pits Tenator Skulk against the ravishing Wasabi. I will be honest, I do not care for talking, but Wasabi's poems are just so beautiful! In this corner, the do-gooding Baxterra, whose words pack a wallop, Wasabi! Wasabi really is quite the contender! If anyone has the goods to take down Senator 
Skulls, he just might be the one. My tongue is fast, just like my feet. My clever rhyming can't be beat. If you like pain, here comes a treat. Wasabi, you're the best. That pinky sure does love wasabi. Yeah, I don't know what disgusts me more, pinky or love. And in this corner, the skeletal yeah. Sinistra, who would be king, Senator Skull! Something about this guy creeps me out. Maybe it's that his face is creepy skull. You should all love me. Otherwise, I will bring horrible devastation to the world. <gasps> Actually, I will do that either way. Uh, thank you. Strong words from an evil genius. Dexteras, Sinistras, thumbs up, throw down! All right, lock them up. Four, Four three, two, one. Two, one. Who, who will be, be the strongest thumb? How sus! Wasabi comes charging out of the gate with a nasty combo of attacks! Is that really all you've got? Because truth be told, it's not a lot! Uh, this is all part of the plan! I am no evil genius, but this plan seems pretty stupid! That looks to me like Wasabi is really handing it to Senator Skull! <laughs> Senator Skull is getting a second win! Uh, how do you like that? Uh, uh. This fight is dope. To say the least, it's time to give your ears a feast. It looks like Wasabi's gone straight to her deadliest move. The best poem ever. No fair. I want to hear. No, you don't, Colonel. Believe me, that poem is dangerous. <laughs> what? You just heard the best poem ever, and all you can do is laugh? <laughs> oh, is that what you were babbling about? <laughs> Incredible. Senator Skull has escaped defeat through sheer rudeness. Boom! Bam! Oh. Look at those hits! Wasabi is really taking a beating! <laughs> There's no stopping me now! I like the juice, so what's the use? This just might be it for Wasabi! <laughs> the time of my final victory is almost here! What time is it? <laughs> it's big time, baby! The big time has timed out his own teammate! What? What are you doing here? You didn't see that one coming, did you, punk? Ah! You two are cheating. You're disqualified. Wait, he cheated against me. Save it for your memoir, Senator. Zozo Zoe with Senator Skull disqualified. Wasabi is the winner. No, no, it can't be. I can't lose. I can't lose. I'll beat them all. I, I think we've seen enough here. What an embarrassing outburst for Senator Skull. I will crush his puny whining. I Huge victory for the Dexterers! Tune in next time, folks, for another exciting summer summer match! This week at Posh Prado Hall. Who's loathing it? Oh, oh, oh. Who's losing it? <laughs> and who's falling in love? I do know that half of the boys fancy Mary. Find out in Evacuation to the Manor House. Today at 5, CBBC on BBC One.